Joe Biden, get this, Liz and Caleb, he's got new shoes. Oh. These uh, shoes are called, uh, what are they called? They're Hoka called transport. Uh, yes, transport shoes for greater stability because, of course, we know Donald Trump continually trips up. In fact, I read today that... No, Biden put... continually trips up. So what did I say? Donald Trump. Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm giving Donald Democrat Trump talking very points. Sure hang on, hang on. Hang on. James, James, have you had a cognitive test recently? <laughs> uh, you're, you're not Joe Biden by any chance, are you? I'm fine. I was reading Secret Service agents are now positioned at the bottom of stairs when it's Biden is walking down just <laughs> in case he slips. So these new shoes are supposed to add stability so that he doesn't topple over. Right. They do look very staple. I think hush puppies could buy into this <laughs> idea, actually. The uh, shoe of comfort of choice. But just so that you're reminded how often this guy trips... Take a look at this footage. I mean, it it's all, almost happens more often than not. He's taken some really bad tumbles. And because he's not a small guy as well, he's got actually quite a ways to fall when he does miss a step. Here he is tripping several <laughs> times, just trying to board Air Force One. This is the leader of the free world. And look, if he was... Mentally sound, which he's proven many times that he's not. On several occasions, Clearly. he still thinks his son Bo is alive mm. or claims that he died in the war as opposed to from cancer. There are innumerable uh, opportunities now that people can just bring up and just be like, this shows that this guy hasn't got all his marbles. If it was just the tripping... I wouldn't mind. Wear your sturdy shoes. Get around on crutches. In fact, have one of those things that four people have to carry and you're sat up there like <laughs> Queen of Sheba. I don't care. As long as you've got all your faculties about you and this guy doesn't, and that's the problem. I've got to say, though, and, and I know... Well, you don't, all, you don't do it with a suit, James, but I have seen you wear sneakers with a, with a blazer. Mm -hmm. Sneakers with a suit is just an <laughs> absolute no-no. It should never ever be done. Now, these shoes in particular, the Hoka Transport, they uh, retail for $150 US if you uh, care to go and buy yourself a pair. You know, maybe Biden's turning into a fashion influencer or something. Are you serious? Anyone would buy shoes because Joe Biden hey, was... Hey, Hoka look, are ruined I'm, as a brand I'm, now. I'm sorry. I'm sure there are some people are out there mad enough to actually this? do it. You're no, no, actually no. spruiking them live no, no, on no, no, Do you want to give them, like, the link to go No, no, no. Through? But I just want to tell you how they describe these. Things. And you can see them there, right? Like, they're pretty basic-looking sneakers. But they are described on the company's website as the intersection of lifestyle and performance <laughs> with a commuter-friendly style. <laughs> so I'm sure, uh, President Biden, we won't be seeing him trip over anytime soon. But, mate, come on, buddy. You're the president. You've got to be able to get around in a pair of leather shoes. Seriously. And, by the way, if you weren't convinced already that things were bad enough, all the... Uh, uh, silly mishaps, and now he's got to get around in sneakers. It's no wonder his aides are doing all of this for him. He is basically living in a glorified aged care home. At White House Senior Living, our residents feel right at home. Our vibrant facility offers delightful activities and outings, round-the-clock professional care, and exquisite house-made meals. Well, I've been eating them. everything that's put in front of me, but I've been eating all, all Italian foods, basically. And ice cream. And ice cream. Chocolate chip ice cream. White House Senior Living, where residents feel like presidents. <laughs> and he gets paid to be in the aged care home, too. How good is that? I wonder whether they charge extra for the shoes. But after he put his uh, brand-new sneakers on on the weekend, he chuffed off out of the White House to go and give a speech. And, as usual, well, it didn't go all that well. We're used to him stumbling over his words. Now he's not happy with the reaction of the crowd. Our country stand, stand proudly for liberty and against tyranny. We stand together and oppose Russia's brutal war of aggression in Ukraine. You can clap for that, please. You can clap now, please. <laughs> well, well, well. Because, of course, they wouldn't actually clap for him because they couldn't understand a word he said. I do have to say, though, that Biden isn't the only person who has faced this affliction. You may remember Jeb Bush back in 2016 when he was running for the Republican presidential nomination. The next president needs to be a lot quieter, but send a signal that we're prepared to act in the national security interests of this country to get back in the business of creating a more peaceful world. Please clap. 
<laughs> it never gets old. But while we are on Biden speech mishaps, how many countries do you think there are in America? And I didn't say how many states are there in America. I said how many countries are there in America? Because Mr Biden clearly thinks there are many. Wages are rising faster than prices, and now we have among the lowest inflation rates of any country in America, and still, we're still fighting to lower it even further. Any country in America. I mean, for goodness... Who, why do they let this man talk in public anymore? Like, remember the last election campaign, 2020, he spent most of his time in the bunker. It would be better for everyone if he spent all of his time in the bunker. What they need to do is get a pair of those shoes he can wear in his mouth to stop tripping <laughs> over his words, Liz. That's what they need.